I'm Peggy Scott Laborde with a piece of the past. We're taking a look back at local history through some photos from my collection and the work of local photographers and from archives. While most attractions along the midway of New Orleans' Pontchartrain Beach were rides or games of skill, during the 1940s and into the 1960s, there was the Cockeyed Circus, and right next door, Laugh in the Dark. These were walkthrough attractions. Cockeyed was an apt description, since there was a mirror maze, which certainly made you feel askew. I also recall jets of air coming from below the floor, which of course wreaked havoc with skirts and elicited more than a few screams of surprise. Carrying forth the circus theme was a giant head of a clown, which quickly became the meeting spot for beachgoers. According to a recollection from Frank Jones in the book Pontchartrain Beach, A Family Affair by Brian Batt and Katie Danos, Jones's stepfather, Alfred Willis, constructed the clown head's wood framework. Beach owner and Bryant's grandfather, Harry Batt Sr., brought in a sculptor from Paris to create with plaster the iconic face. In addition to his carpentry skills, Willis was also the captain of the beach's lifeguards. The clown photo was taken by photographer Joe Buddy Jr. He was a cameraman at WDSU-TV for almost 40 years, starting when the station was founded in 1948. I got to know this kind, gentle man a few years before he retired. Sensing a shared fondness for New Orleans history, he gave me the photo, which recalls a fun-filled summer for many. That's a piece of the past from WYS. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>